Hey everybody, it's Music Mike from Blue Hill Boys and Girls Club. We're gonna be back in the studio again today using Soundtrap, and I'm gonna show you some essentials for adding bass to your track. Here we go. All right, everybody, here we are back with Soundtrap in the studio. Uh, I pulled up the same eight bar drum loop that we worked on in the uh, Drum Essentials video. If you didn't watch that, please check it out. Uh, so here it is, we've got our eight bars, a drum loop, and today, pretty simple, we're gonna go in and add some bass. All right, so we're gonna be doing some 808, and you see I do have a couple of tracks added already, but they're muted, so we won't hear them. What we're gonna do is click on add a new track, we are looking for guitar and bass. We are looking for bass kick 808. All right, so I'm gonna click on that. And again, we've got a whole list of sounds we can go through, find something that works for us, okay? So obviously you can click on a few. There's one. There's another one. Let's see. I'm kind of liking that, so let's go with this gritty long sub 808. All right, so I'm gonna click on that. We're gonna X out. And as you see, the keyboard here shows where I can play on my computer keyboard and actually get notes from that instrument. So I'm just gonna try it out here. Okay, there we go, a nice little C scale. Now, we want the bass down low, so we're gonna click the octave button down one, it's gonna shift the octave down uh, by one octave, which is going to give us a lower notes. You'll hear that. Yeah, now we're in that bass arena, okay. Now, just like the drums, we can make a very uh, complicated, you know, bass line, drum groove, whatever. We can make the music as complicated as we want. But the beautiful thing about music is it doesn't have to be complicated to sound good. So today we're gonna do one of the most effective yet simplest things you can do in music, which is to copy the bass drum pattern with the bass, okay? So essentially the bass is going to copy that bass drum pattern. They're gonna work together to create a strong groove. All right, so I'm just gonna use the note C. I'm not gonna go over today how, how to find that on a keyboard, that might be another video. But right now it's just gonna be on my computer keyboard, I'm just gonna be hitting Z and that's gonna correspond with that C note, okay? Let's listen one time to the drum groove we have. And again, I'm just gonna try to copy that, all right? I can practice now, cause it's just gonna loop. All right, so I'm practicing, I'm getting in there. All right, so you can let that loop uh, and pretty much practice as much as you need. I'm going to exit out of the instrument and really all we have to do now is record. All right, everybody, we're ready to record bass. So we just gotta make sure that our instrument, right here, gritty sub 808, that that has the red R highlighted. That means we're ready to record on that track. I got my note ready, I'm playing C, which means I click Z on the keyboard. And here we go. It's gonna give us a count. And so when I hit record, this red dot, it's gonna give us a count in, and that's how we know how to start. Here we go. There we go. So you can see that now our part that we played is in this purple region. All the notes, you can see these tiny little uh, dots there. I'm gonna double click on that region. It's gonna bring us into the piano roll view. This view allows us to make little changes to our part. We can actually move the notes around, change pitch if we wanted to. We can draw in notes. We're not gonna worry about any of that though. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do is take away a few notes. So we got this busier part right here. See those notes are a little closer together. So we know that's a busier part. I'm actually gonna take those notes out and see what that sounds like, okay? It happens twice. So we'll just select those notes, delete, and now we'll listen.
Now, I still wanted something there in the end. So I'm gonna undo. Undo is a great command to know. It is Command Z. So you hold down Command and then tap the key Z on your computer. Command Z, that's undo. Obviously, you could also go to edit, undo, and there's also a redo button. Super important to know. All right, so now we've got that last part back in. I'm just gonna take out this middle note. And again, this is where you can kind of get creative. So I played the part. I can go into piano roll. I can take notes away. I can uh, move them to the grid, snap it to the grid if I want to. Um, and that's that. So I added back in a few notes at the end. Let's listen now. All right, you can hear some of those notes are off. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And right here, yeah, you can see this note is off, this note's off, and some of these others are definitely off. So if we go in and select all the notes, I just use Command A to select all. We've got all our notes selected here, and what we're gonna do is quantize. Quantize is gonna lock all the notes up to the grid so that they're not you know, late, early, what have you. So I'm gonna go to Edit, I'm gonna go down to quantize and I'm gonna snap it to the eighth note grid because that's the note value we're using. I click that and now you can see these notes, like specifically this one, this one right here at the end, those snap to the grid. They're gonna be on time and actually match the bass drum now. Let's listen. right there left some of the bass out and let the bass drum just be by itself no problem it can kind of create a little layered effect it's up to you how creative you get with uh, where the bass and the bass drum match and uh, line up and maybe where they don't but you see all I did here was I copied the same bass drum pattern onto the bass just by playing it and then I went in and removed a few notes and I found a pattern I like okay so we're gonna continue uh, building on this track next time, maybe with some melody, maybe with a little bit of harmony, okay? Keep being creative, get into Soundtrap, use this great software, it's free. Let us hear what you got. Y'all stay safe and we'll see you later.